David Didier here. Wanted to go over the uh, Snapple bit setup that I started my Mustang with. So this is Dart, a little camera shy today, but we're about to go for just a little ride here uh, in the pasture. And uh, I just wanna kinda let you know about why I have what I have and what I started off with. So I didn't know anything when I was getting started. I didn't know what setup to use for him when it came to reins, when it came to head stall and everything. And so, um, talking with some friends of mine that know a lot more about horses than I do, this is what I settled on. So no matter what, even, you know, when we, if and when we move on from this setup, it's always uh, something good to have uh, in the tack room. I end up going with regular snaffle bit. This is a stainless steel snaffle bit um, with some copper inlays. I went with a D-ring snaffle just because it would be a little less apt to want to pull through um, having that bigger surface area here. So to pull through his mouth, being a now 14 year old Mustang, when I started with him, he was 13 probably, um, he was very skittish. And so a horse that's very skittish, uh, I didn't, I wanted to use something that wasn't gonna shock him if something got pulled through his mouth or whatever it was. So setting us both up for success, I didn't know what I was doing, not super confident in the saddle. And so getting a setup that's gonna be, that's gonna, gonna hold up uh, and kind of foolproof in a way is why I went with this. Um, copper inlay, the copper helps them to promote salivation in their mouth. I also have this curb strap underneath, once again, just to help it to prevent it from wanting to pull through his mouth. If I aren't, if I'm not gentle for whatever reason and something spooks him and I start yanking and then it goes, pulls through his mouth, then we've got even an even bigger rodeo on our hands. So that's why I went with this one. Um, like I said, foolproof, always a good one. If we move on from this, always a good uh, setup just to have in our tack room for whatever, an extra can always go to this. It's just a good, a good go-to. So um, that's the one that I went with. If you're interested in this one, it's a very reasonably priced snaffle bit. Um, I'll have a link for it below. I think it's under, under 40 bucks and it's pretty heavy duty and pretty well made. I've had some other uh, friends of mine, like I said, that have a lot more experience with me, check it out and they're like, man, that's, that's a really nice, a really nice bit. So I think for what it is, it's, uh, it's really nice, really nice entry point. If you're getting started with a snaffle bit with your Mustang or your domestic horse, um, can't go wrong with this. It's worked for us so far and I'm sure it'll work for you. We'll see you next time.